in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, under control which is the button control uh, there is something very important for you to learn about the button control uh, and it's the the script the on how let me show you um, if you have label text box and the button you know the button is meant to uh, send information to the server but there is a there is a property of the control oh come on button how long does it? okay button there is a property of the button saying that says um, on client click this on client click this is a client side script that is executed on on the browser before the buttons is actually sent to the say for example you want uh, um, a a JavaScript to be executed when you click the button because normally when you press the button it sends the information to the server right but if you don't want that to happen if you wanted to execute your JavaScript first then that's when if when you you want it to execute your JavaScript that's when you use this on client click so uh, let's write a small JavaScript into this uh, place which is return confirm then um, uh, are you sure you want to send information to the server we're using um, this is a, this is a JavaScript code that we're using it it's going to display a confirmation button that has a confirmation message box which has a OK and a cancel button so if you do the OK button the information is sent to the server otherwise the information is sent is is not sent to the server so on client click we have this uh, JavaScript code written here are you sure you want to send information to the server uh, use a single quote because we already have a double quote so here we have to have a single quote return confirm are you sure send information to the server okay let me see if that is correct right okay now let's uh, run this application and see how we're doing so if I type something here name and I click on the button we get this confirmation but you see if I click the OK button the information will be sent to the server okay, you see the page has been processed but let's try if I could click the cancel button then the processing on the server will not be will not happen you see the process the uh, page did not process now the process did the click event is now raised on the server until I click OK so this way you can always pop up this uh, message or any other um, client side uh, script that you have if you have any client side script like a JavaScript you can use it another um, thing that I want to talk about is how to use um, something they called um, expando attributes it's called uh, most many controls in ASP.NET they support this ex expando attributes which you can use to handle uh, client side events so you can for example you know the on mass mouse hover for example we can add uh, like this one we have on client click let's add another expando attribute say on mouse over so that means when we move our mouse over we want it to uh, 
we want the button to perform uh, some extra function this is the value equals um, let's say uh, submit to server so when we move our mouse over it we get this uh, submit to server right so should we try that um, let me see if everything is ok let's run the application so if I move my mouse over the button you should get can you see that so let's add another one you know the opposite of on mouse over is uh, sorry the opposite of on mouse over is the on mass or mouse out mouse out so if I do on mouse out so I want to change it to uh, click me so when I move the mouse over it says submit to server but when I move the mouse away it says click me so let's see how that works um, submit to server click me submit to server click me submit to server click me so that's how you use the expander attribute of the button there's so many other controls that's you know they support this um, expander attribute so uh, in this video we've looked at how to use the client side scripting with your button before racing the event on the server and we've also looked at the uh, expander attribute so um, I think that's it in the next video I'll be showing you how to submit your page what you can do crossed post and let me show you what I mean like this button now it has this property say post back URL the post back URL allow you to submit your um, process and you know when you when you do for example let me show you what I'm trying to do if I click on the button and I say okay it posts back the information from the server to itself where the page just reloads itself what if you want to submit the information here to another page that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do cross posting so you can post the, the uh, information from one page to another page so uh, that will be the next video thank you